Today's BBC headline news includes Mahatma Gandhi's ashes is stolen on his 150th birth anniversary. And it also highlights a news where it is criticized that Egyptian parliament applauded Hitler on his economic policies. So how come the British media is totally silent about um, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's connections with the lovers of Hitler? Yes, the founders of his political fascist ultra-nationalist groups like RSS and BJP and Hindu Mahasabha to which he has long past history. We have Abraham Lincoln's statue outside the British Parliament. We have Gandhi's statue as well, the Parliament Square. Both of these leaders were shot dead. Can you imagine any American individual or any group of Americans celebrating the assassination? Can you envisage that in your wildest imaginations? But hey, it is happening in India where ultra-nationalist Hindu fanatics, RSS, BJP, Bajrangdal, Sheep Shena, they are staging mock killing of Gandhi. Mahatma Nathuram Gorse! Mahatma Nathuram Gorse! Are you ready? Are ready? Well, that's what Indians have done. They have sent the ultra nationalist RSS activists, BJP, and Vishyo Hindu Parishad supporter, political fascists to power. And Indians have sent the leader of the fascist groups to power, Narendra Modi, who was banned from entering the US for 10 years for his role in genocide in Gujarat, India, is in power. The very man who takes the mentors of the killers of Gandhi as his mentors as well. So don't be fooled by Mr. Narendra Modi's applauding of Gandhi at the UN headquarters on his 150th birthday. The reality is Narendra Modi's supporters hail the killer of Gandhi day and night openly in India without any action being taken against them. In bronze, Mahatma Gandhi joins only 10 other statesmen honored here on Parliament Square. Yeah. Heading the unveiling, leading politicians, together with Gandhi's grandson and Bollywood legend Amitabh Bachchan. I hope that as Gandhi takes up residence in this great square, at the heart of our politics and our democracy, that we can all be blessed with the wisdom of Gandhi today, tomorrow, and generations to come.
The statue is based on an image of Gandhi during a visit to England in 1931, at the height of his fight for independence. It was a thorn in the side of the British Empire, but Gandhi's philosophy of non-violent resistance to colonial rule influenced liberation movements around the globe. A message of tolerance that eventually led to his assassination at the hands of a militant Hindu nationalist. But he went on to inspire the likes of Nelson Mandela, here too on Parliament Square. Thank you. 